Day 246. I am dead to the world today. Another completely sleepless night. That's two days without sleep. Just tossing and turning and, you know, just blowing my nose, getting up, hacking in the bathroom, whatever, every two, three minutes. Just not completely exhausted because I did get rest just laying there all night, but it's not sleep. My brain isn't really working too well. And I got to kick this because I left myself a week leeway on that, on this current batch of cigars. And I'm probably at this rate going to have to eat it up, but it's still not something I want to do. Oh, man. Just, I thought by now I had at least turn the corner and feeling better a little bit but it seems to be getting worse every day I'm wondering if the uh, z-pack was wrong antibiotics for this particular bug there aren't too many out there they're prescribing these days and I don't get hardly any I mean a couple of years ago I had pneumonia and had I don't think I had a z-pack for that one this is the first time I've had a z-pack so you know, I've had those two now a couple years ago hi kitty lots of cats up a couple years ago uh, I don't even remember what they gave me but it worked really well they gave me a shot right in the office because I was that bad and then I picked up my script and was on that for I don't know six or seven days at the most but I remember halfway through that I was feeling really good the fluid in the lungs was clearing right up I could breathe I could sleep you know that was I mean that was bad that's not anywhere near right now I know a few of you have commented that uh, sounds like you got the same thing so you know what it's like For some reason the sinus stuff seems to hit me a lot harder than at least my wife she only took a day off of work she was at least able to sleep for the most part but man, the pressure, it's like, it's like there's just somebody sitting on my head and it's burning hot. Really annoying. Just keeps me up. So I'm out right now, just kind of, it's just after sunrise. While the sun's still behind the houses and trees. Getting some exercise in, hoping maybe the fresh air does me some good. Uh, not that it's bad inside the house, but it's not fresh, fresh air. Uh, they say moist air is better, so I might pull in one of the humidifiers I have in the back room, minding those cigars, and put them into the bedroom or maybe my office, see if that helps, or maybe just pull them both into the house. Then I'd have to move the cigars. Weather's getting a little warmer this week, so it's another thing that's hurrying me up. It was really good last week, and I had planned on being done with this shoot by this Saturday or Sunday. That's definitely out the window. But uh, storing them in my back room there, that's absolutely perfect because I can completely seal it off, humidify the heck out of that one room, and it doesn't mess up the rest of the house. It's one weird thing with those humidifiers, and this goes for any commercial unit. It happens in warehouses and cigar shops too, but the, the humidity leaves a dust, and it's kind of sticky. It looks like a film. It doesn't hurt anything, but, man, it gets over everything. you got to clean it. So last night I was trying to do everything I could think of to try to sleep. I tried to uh, get a neti pot, and usually that works pretty well, actually. Did it three times really didn't do much it's like right in here just solid pressure just can't get it out tried mucinex tried Sudafed I think those two are kind of fighting each other but I can at least breathe on the Sudafed and uh, I don't think I'm gonna do the mucinex anymore because it just keeps everything moving you know it doesn't stop dried NyQuil which seemed to help 
uh, before the antibiotic. I took that the first couple nights, and it would knock me out for two to three hours at the most. So that at least was something. It's not doing anything anymore. So I don't know what's up with that. But that's that's a waste. I tried cough drops. You know, of course they feel good when you're sucking on them, and then a minute later, it's like you never did it. So. They're kind of useless. The best ones I found though are Ricola Dual Action. They have a, um, a numbing agent, can't think of the word, not antiseptic, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Numbs your throat, kind of like chloroseptic, but it has the regular cough drop on the outside of it. Those work pretty darn well. And I keep those in uh, my camera bag as an emergency because there have been times when you know, I just, you need one if you have to be quiet during a ceremony. <laughs> Oops, learned that lesson once. The best thing I found that's helping is just standing in the shower, letting the hot steam kind of do its thing, and it kind of helps the body aches too. But again, you know, 15, 20 minutes later out of the shower, it's back to the usual. So I did that three times, <laughs> probably used up all the hot water. And uh, coffee actually seems to be helping a little bit. I had a cup just before I left the house here. And that gave some relief. Hopefully it kind of wakes me up too because I got to do some work today. <laughs> I can't just lose another day. I mean, it's already Thursday and I haven't started any of my projects that I had slated for Monday. You know, yesterday I had to do the shoot, had to get that done, that was scheduled. But the other stuff, studio work, that's all on me. So, that's just coming out of my schedule. I uh, had some very, very sad news early this morning. One of my good friends, way back from high school, uh, he and his wife lost their dachshund last night. So my heart goes out to Michelle and Dan for the loss of AJ. I know our dachshund is our four-legged daughter, and uh, you know it, that hurts. Speaking of that, the only thing hard on my schedule today is uh, we have to take Chloe into the vet. She's got a lump on her side. We want to get checked out. She gets some occasionally on her neck, and they turn out to be just plugged oil glands nothing harmful costs us like a hundred bucks to have them drained each time she's got one now but it just keeps coming back I don't see the point of just keep draining it doesn't hurt her but the one on her side feels more like a fatty cyst it doesn't move the same it doesn't feel like it's liquid so it's been there a few weeks so definitely want to get it checked out probably nothing serious but just for the peace of mind. So that's at uh, 4.30. I'll meet the wife up there with her. She's gonna come right from school. And uh, we'll see what else happens today. Hopefully I have shower door parts sometime today. That would be really cool. I could wrap that up and clean up. I gotta clean up the garage enough to at least pull my car in tonight being Halloween there's no way in hell I'm letting that sit outside if it doesn't have to not around here no all right I'm getting kind of winded here I'm gonna turn around it's gonna be about a mm, maybe a mile and a half walk at the most better or nothing that's all I can do man I am dead just beat Ugh. I am so tired. I got about three hours of sleep. The Mucinex finally wore off and I took some Sudafed, which allowed me to crash for a little bit. I got some shooting done, but I just can't concentrate. Anyway, it's time we go to the vet. What do you think, Chloe? Got a good idea? Chloe says, get me out of here. I want to go home. Get me out of here. 
This is a nut house. <laughs> Chloe was fine. She's glad to be home. Just a little, little fat pocket, normal for her age. Here you go. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, hold on. No jumping. Tell everybody you're home. Tell them you're home. Tell them you're home. Hey, Chloe's home. Tell them you're home. You happy puppy now? Huh? Tell them you're home. See you guys tomorrow.